They finally announced the new manager. The Padres did. They hired from within Mike Schultz, who was the Friars senior advisor to player development and major leagues. And of the teams who needed to hire manager this offseason, the Padres were the last to make the move. And our Jake Gariani waiting patiently in the big screen here was at today's press conference. Jake, take it away. Yeah, John, I think the Padres were indeed the last to hire, but this hire really comes as no surprise, right? The Padres did interview guys like Phil Nevin, Ryan Flaherty, Ben G. Gill, but Schilt was really the front runner from the beginning, and he was the front runner from the beginning for a couple of reasons. First of all, you mentioned his time here with the Padres, been here for the last two years, meaning he knows the roster, he knows the players, he knows the up and coming talent, and most importantly, John, he knows how to work with A.J. Preller. Remember all the issues that apparently popped up between Bob Melvin and the Padres. The epicenter of it was the relationship between Preller and Melvin. So this is a guy that knows how to work with Preller. Now, secondarily, Schilt has plenty of experience. He did uh, four years mostly with the Cardinals, three of which he made the postseason. And uh, 2019 took him to an NLCS. 2019, he won the manager of the year, won over 250 games with the Redbirds. This guy knows how to win. And today, when we caught up with him. This is what he had to say about what he expects his team to look like on the field. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to enjoy it. You know, we've got a fun group, you know, with the guys with a lot of talent. So, you know, I love it when Toddy does his moonwalk back to first base, and I love Manny Machado's million dollar smile, and I love Joe Musgrove's passion for the city and his competition. And here's what I can go on and on. And I son Kim flying around the field, you know, um, playing the game the right way with a lot of heart and desire. and and talent. So, you know, we're going to get it. We're going to have a good time with it. We're going to play with some swagger, but we're also going to play with some substance as well. I love a manager that wants to let his players be themselves, be themselves, right? Now, today was mostly a celebration for the organization as they hope they hired the right guy finally, but there was a somber tone in the press conference room, and that is because we got to hear from A.J. Preller for the first time since the passing of the late chairman and owner of the Padres, Peter Seidler. Preller, of course, worked alongside Seidler for years, became very good friends with them, and here is what an emotional A.J. Preller had to say about the late owner. For me personally, he was an amazing uh, boss, mentor, and friend. Um, I think our main connection we shared uh, we shared the love of the game of baseball. Um, fortunately or unfortunately, we also shared a love of really big baggy clothes in some strange <laughs> fashion sense. Um, and, and just in talking to our players and our staff and our organization the last uh, the last week. Um, not that we need any extra motivation this year, but uh, uh, Peter's message of being best in class, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that we follow through on that this year down here at PECO. Um, and I'm looking forward to the baseball gods smiling down many moments this year on, on our club. I think many fans are looking forward to seeing the baseball gods smile down, including Peter Seidler smile down on this franchise in this upcoming year. Hopefully Mike Schilt is the right guy to bring that championship that Seidler so desperately wanted to bring back home to San Diego. John, a two-year deal for Mike Schilt. We'll see if he can get it done, see if this is finally the right manager. All right.